Hi, this is Soulgazer. So, on my last video, I did a review for Lakers Kobe Lower jersey. It was an authentic jersey review, and this time I'll be comparing this with the Swingman jersey. If you haven't checked out my last video, I'll be adding the link somewhere around the screen, so please check them out first. And before we get to the comparison, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Swingman jersey is 120 and authentic jersey is 225. Let's take a look at the front first. Authentic has Lakers logo printed at inside neck tag location and its label is placed on the left side. Same type of trim is used at the neckline and armhole. And the color is more faded and authentic. And for these trims, Swingman uses a rib knit and they stretch pretty well. But on the other side, the authentic uses a woven fabric. So when you pull them, they don't stretch as much. And by the way, these rib knits are a little bit more weaker against washing, so it could stretch easily. And the printed swoosh, this is the swingman, and this is the authentic. The authentic uses thicker print. And you can see the thickness. There's a corner on this print. But Swingman Swoosh has this clear film around the swoosh. And it feels a lot stiffer on authentic swoosh. So top one is Swingman and the bottom is authentic. So Swingman is one piece heat transfer patch. Black and yellow are printed on this base fabric and the logo looks pretty flat. Authentic uses different fabric. Grains are going on the other way and they're more visible too. The yellow outline is separate fabric and they're stitched on. Yellow outline looks sharper, especially around the corner on Swingman, but Authentic uses different fabric, and logo has more dimension to it. And Swingman uses the same patch as the logo. Authentic number doesn't use the same fabric as the logo, it uses different perforated fabric with separate outline fabric and having these two textures give more dimensions to the numbers as well. Let's look at the back now. Authentic has a longer back trim. The neck opening drops deeper down for Authentic. It has the same fabric difference as the front neckline, but it uses different color on the back. And Authentic also has a championship badge that Swingman doesn't. And flat NBA logo for the Swingman, and Authentic logo has more of a 3D print. Swingman's armhole trim goes all the way around, but Authentic's trim ends at the shoulder seam. And the rest of the armhole is back fabric, was a clean finish. An authentic shoulder panel is a lot smaller. You can see the difference here. There's hardly any space of the neckline here. And Swingman was heat transfer fabric for the name. 
and fabric is stitched on for authentic. Same number patch as front. Same flat fabric for the swingman. And being a print makes it a little blurrier than authentic jersey. Let's look at the side panel. So authentic doesn't have a side panel. It has a extended back piece going to the front. And authentic also has a slit and the back extends longer by about an inch. Let's compare their fabric now. Swingman has a perforated fabric and Authentic has perforation plus a bump and it's a lot thinner. And the snake pattern is more visible on the Swingman because it's a flat surface. And the textures are slightly different. It feels a little more shinier on the Swingman. Let's look at the back now. The back looks pretty similar. But if you look at it closely, the fabric constructions are a little different. But it does have a similar type of shine to it. And it's a lot easier to see the difference when I flip them over. The perforated back is on the authentic and the solid back is a swingman and I think this makes a difference in weight the perforated one will be a little bit lighter let's compare this with the older authentic jersey and I flip them over to see the fabric texture easier unlike the icon edition CD edition doesn't have the different knit blocking the association and icon edition had and it's using a lot less perforation too. So it looks a lot more solid on these. Front piece feels completely different. There's no block knitting. So they use same knit construction throughout the body. And this change may be due to all the ripping incident that's been happening. And although they made an adjustment to their fabric, the front piece of Kobe jersey is still very thin and feels very fragile. They both have the same length now. Swingman feels a lot looser around the neck. But authentic make me looks a little slimmer. Authentic has better detailing, so I would recommend this to the collectors or people that only wears once in a while. Detailings are nice with all the stitching, and they're the same model as what players wear. But if you're going to wear this regularly, it may not be durable enough. And I'm not sure if you want to wear this if you have to worry about damaging. Fabric feels so thin, so I worry about ripping when I have them on. Especially being 225, it's not going to be fun worrying about ripping your jersey. On the other hand, Swingman lacks in some of the details, but the fabric is thicker, so it should be a lot more durable. So if you're planning to wear them often, I will go with the Swingman. By the way, if you can't get 25% off, I will go with the Authentic. So look out for all these discounts as the season is ending and more discounts are coming. I recently got it for 25% off, so I'm actually switching from the 24 Kobe to 8 Kobe because I'd rather have that. 160 price tag than 225 price tag so look out for those discounts because it's definitely worth it anyway that's it for today thanks for watching once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please press that like button so as you can see in this video the sizing has changed for the nike's jersey uh, since the first um, icon association edition so I'll be comparing all the jerseys to see from which line 
they changed their sizing. So please look forward for that. Uh, I should be able to upload them in a week or so. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.